All right, so welcome back. Hoping you guys are having a fabulous day. It's been a little bit since I covered Black Clover Mobile. I want to talk about it, right? Because we are approaching the end of the year and the start of the next year, which we are all wondering, hey, when is Black Clover Mobile going to release? What is the entire plan here? Today, I want to give you all of the information laid out on the table here, and we'll think about a date, and I'll speculate and tell you which date um, or what month or around what area it should fall under because of what we know and what was already told to us in various different statements. Again, there were many sources I'm going to comprise the information from, so it's very hard for me to like give a specific source these are from kr interviews these are from things that they mentioned these are from leaks also that were mentioned of how they plan to originally release it and what changed from there so i'm going to structure the video in that sort of way with that being said let's jump into it if you're new to the channel like and subscribe helps out a ton let's talk about it first they didn't know and the first thing that i want to confirm a lot of people have been asking me is it still a 2022 release and no it is no longer a 2022 release it has officially been pushed back to 2023 that is how it's going to work the game will not be releasing in december this month right now it will not be it is now officially a 2023 release that is how it goes it was announced in a uh, entire interview thing they did say they wanted to work on everything and try and make sure the game is in a suitable way uh, to launch and actually a good game right they don't want to launch it where there's a bunch of bugs and people you know get fed up with it which is very understandable okay i think either both it wasn't ready second it was just getting too close to the deadline and they were like you know what we have to we have to have this as a ready game as a good game don't want to launch it where it's bugged out and terrible because games have done that recently right there are many games in the market that have done that and if you launch a gotcha game if you launch a game in this market right now and it is buggy it is a mess no one's coming back to it a lot of people do dip off the game and leave permanently it has happened with many games the game that i cover on this channel mainly it's happened to many times people come back to the game they haven't fixed their problems they leave that's how it goes Nick K recently uh, launched with a lot of bugs. Also, people got fed up with it left. SAO variant showdown launched with a lot of bugs. People got fed up with it left. It's just how it does happen. So it's understandable. It is. Now, they did say again, and the leak that we did have originally is that it is slated for first quarter 2023, which is a good leak, right? That is a good piece of information. And a lot of the interviews that they were kind of in after this is post the delay, they did say that it is first quarter of 2023 and it wouldn't make sense pushing the game back three four months is understandable so again it was originally supposed to launch in november or december right if we go three months so we, we're gonna say november december was the original launch date uh, launch date we're gonna push that back three months so what i will say is around february march you should should see the launch of the entire game if there is an open beta as there is presumed to be one at the end of this month then it'll give you more of a confirmation to when it happens if you look at the beta what was currently given on the closed beta um it was very bug free there were some problems there were some things but overall it was really a finished game and almost to the point where it's like it's ready to launch tomorrow right they patched up those bugs that were found um and then boom the game's ready to go it was it felt like a ready to go game there were a few problems but overall i think it'll take them a week or two max to kind of get out um of the way after that if they do want to choose to do an open beta that we just uh, determined later on but again there is an announcement a big announcement but for Black Clover this month that apparently Black Clover Mobile will be announcing something there. They could be announcing a release date. They could be announcing something big. They could be announcing an open beta. So keep that in mind that December, they might announce something that is happening soon. And if they do do that, January, February is open. But I will say that if they want to do first quarter, February, March is around the area they want to do. But again, they could also delay by then, right? It's just a leak that we had an original idea in an interview that said, A, we plan for first quarter, but they could also push that. They could do first half of the year. Again, it really depends on what they want to do. And with the current movie releasing, right? So if we were to base it off that, the date could be around when I mentioned it. And guess what? The movie will be releasing March 31st. So there's a high chance that we actually see the game way prior to this to hype up and incentivize people to go watch the movie on Netflix. So again, we could say early March, late February, the game releases. They then proceed to do a movie collab with the game uh, or with the, again, movie, whatever, game with a movie um, collaboration post the launch, right? That could definitely happen. It is a scene in a lot of gotcha games. They do that where they kind of merge with a movie so they can do something cool. They can announce something cool. They can, again, get some nice hype um, for people to hype up the movie itself, the anime itself. This happens and it wouldn't make a lot of sense. Again, this is a big launch for Black Clover, right? A game that is coming out, a movie that is coming out. If they, you know, time it right, they can definitely hype it up perfectly. And again, it could have been delayed originally just so that it can, you know, match up with the movie, release a month prior, hype up, and then do an event for the movie. It would make sense. It would check out. But again, who knows, right? So again, with it, we do have a movie releasing on the 31st, which might indicate something that might say, A, it's coming around this time. But again, I don't think that the movie will launch and then the game follows afterwards. I think it is still slated as the rumored first quarter. So again, February, March is when you're looking at it. 
Today is, again, we're, we're in December right now, right? There is an app apparently an announcement on December 17th around when they do the entire panel for Black Clover itself. So you might get some information there. Again, they also did mention in the closed beta that, you know, we can't wait to show you the game soon. So again, if it is first half of 2023, I kind of don't expect that. I will say, again, we lean on the first quarter and that is what will go with it. But again, with everything from what we've seen in the closed beta and all of that, and what we've seen in the game as a whole, there's a lot of characters that are already made. They already have a lot of stuff planned and a lot of stuff already developed. So it looks like that they are pretty close. I'm um, going to get through everything. There were only a few problems. There were only a few things that needed to be patched up. Um, but again, there are some games that launched, right? Like literally when they do a closed beta, it's around three months after, two months after they launch the entire game. That is usually how it goes. That's, I'm, that's what I'm used to as a, as a gacha game player. A bunch of the games that I played um, after the closed beta, it's like two or three months, they launched the game. Um, so again, we had the closed beta here at like the end of November, if you want to say, um, start of December. It then will make sense that if they do three months later, it does add up to be around February, um, pushing to March. That would make sense and that would be proper for the game to launch in. Again, if it is in March, they could push it back April. Again, I don't know if they're going to do June launch, then I don't think there's going to be that much hype left in the game. Um, pushing it back that much is a lot, right? They, they only said it was, a, it was a small delay, a small delay, right? So pushing it back anything beyond what I stated is a bit much because again next year there's a lot of gacha games releasing so if you also look at that if they don't get it out in time you have 70s origin releasing which is going to be a probably a big game for the year you have what honkai star rail potentially releasing you have zenla zone zero releasing you have uh if full metal alchemist gets pushed back too you have that releasing next year so there are a lot of gacha games that are releasing and dropping there are, if you look at a K-Lab, potentially we can MJ game. You have Jujutsu Kaisen releasing their game. There are so many games in the pipeline. So they have to find a way to uh, structure the game and strategically release it to where they won't get snuffed out um, or they won't be competing with something, right? Let's say the game releases in a time where nothing else released, right? Nothing else is planned. And then people pick up the game and they love the game. There's a high chance they don't test out anything else because they already found their main game right but if something else releases while this is releasing they'll try out both games and see which one gets them farther and which one they like more um and which one ha whichever one has more problems which one ever doesn't that will be like the entire deciding factor um so again it all depends on that stuff but to give you a final verdict a final quick thing look at uh first quarter right we break down first quarter it has to be around again can't be january i don't think it's gonna release that early maybe february that makes a lot of sense again if you're pushing it they want to push a little bit more march but i don't see it going anything past that uh, i think march is a, a great sweet spot for the game's release a little bit earlier would be nicer but again i think that's around when the game will drop um again it is 2023 it was said for our first quarter it could be changed the first half which is a while away right keep that in mind four or five months which you just didn't close beta for what reason if you're releasing it five months later after the hype has already been died down a lot right now people are like oh this was so fun i want to test it out again i can't wait to try to keep the hype going if they do an open beta to keep the hype going for another three months they could get away with that both are open things but again we will see with that being said that's all i got for you here today thank you for watching peace out enjoy that is the uh, basic information on what we have for the release date itself